You want to check your PSA levels to monitor your prostate, but did you know that there are certain things that spike PSA levels in the blood? What are they and how can you avoid them? Let's look into it. Well, first of all, PSA stands for prostate specific antigen. And what you might not know is that both healthy prostate cells and prostate cancer cells produce PSA. Now, what is the normal level of PSA? Well, there's not a normal level, but the most widely accepted threshold is below four nanograms per deciliter. Now, that doesn't mean that if you have more than that, you have prostate cancer. Actually, there are men who have less than four and have prostate cancer, and there are men with over eight who do not have prostate cancer. PSA level is more of a check engine light. So if you have been tracking your PSA level regularly and you suddenly see a spike, that's more of a need to chat with your doctor. It doesn't mean you have prostate cancer. The best thing to do is to talk to your doctor. They will know if they want you to do something more. Still, what you might have done is one of the things that we're gonna talk about in this video that just spiked your PSA without you knowing. Before that, if you click like on this video, it will help spread it to those who might need it and raise awareness. Now, what are some factors that can spike PSA and what can you do to avoid a false reading? Number one is aging. Now, men, as they age, their PSA levels increase in the blood and that's normal. So, if you see a trend of your PSA increasing as you age, that might just be because you're getting older. Actually, some doctors do not recommend for men over 70 to check their PSA levels, but that might be different for your doctors, so you need to talk to them. Number two, ethnicity. So, if you get a PSA level with your friend who is a different ethnicity than you, and you have different values, that's no cause of concern, that might just be that you're a different ethnicity. Again, your doctor will know the values that you should expect according to your age and your ethnicity. Number three is being overweight or obese. Actually, being overweight is a big factor for dysregulated PSA. So if you lost or gained a lot of weight suddenly, that might affect your PSA levels. So what I would recommend is trying to lose your body fat because increased body fat is a risk factor for prostate cancer. Number four is having any urinary or prostate infection. If you have an infection in that area in general, just the increased blood, the increased immune system cells and everything that goes on with uh, new synthesis or distraction of cells, that will increase your PSA levels. So if you are having an infection there, expect your PSA levels to be different. Number five is having an enlarged prostate. As we age, our prostate usually grows. And actually many men have a condition called benign prostate hyperplasia. Now that is not prostate cancer, but if you do have this condition, your PSA levels will be higher. Next is certain medications. Anything that you take for your prostate, for example, for benign prostate hyperplasia, anything that affects your testosterone levels, any hormones, anything that affects your cholesterol or aspirin, or maybe even supplements that are not related to your prostate could actually affect your PSA levels. So you need to talk to your doctor and you need to tell them everything that you take so they can have a clear picture. Now, lastly, exercise. Yes, exercise will affect your PSA levels. Does that mean that we have to avoid exercise to have accurate PSA readings? Before that, in my website, you can find exercise programs to fight the cancer and reduce any side effects you might have from treatments or medications. Also, if this video is useful, you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description. Now, did you know that there are certain types of exercise that actually spike PSA levels quite a lot? And there are ways to actually program your exercise around your blood tests. Does that mean, however, that there are certain types of exercise that actually increase our risk or even the growth of prostate cancer? Moreover, is there any form of exercise that can decrease our PSA levels? 
or even the risk or even the growth of prostate cancer? Well, that's a topic for another video that you can find in my channel. For now, let's keep exercising.